Hey everybody, welcome back to my layout. This will be a layout update for July 2018. Oh! I don't know that one. I want to say Minion. Sure. Minion. Welcome back to my layout, Minion. I hope everyone in the Northern Hemisphere is having a good summer. This will be a quick update on the uh, progress we got done down here. Not too much, uh, just We'll start basically on this side, the west side of the layout. Um, so I did get more of the backdrop painted. And this time I just used my air gun to put on a little bit of white down below. I think it turned out pretty good. So I ran out of paint right there at the window you can see. So I gotta go get some more of that. And uh, so now that the backdrop's painted there, we, we went ahead and started laying track. So we got up to about this point right here. Just set a crossover, so uh, that's where we're at right now. So nothing really fancy, we're using microengineering code 83 and I'm just using the DAP Alex Plus uh, silicone to secure it down just like I did with the uh, reverse loops. See at the railhead there it's kind of the mess of what, what I use as I go. Um, I like to use those steel nuts, I think they're about a one inch to uh, hold down the piece of flex track as the silicone dries and I find it just gives you really nice um, flat surface I put them along the entire length of the piece of track and uh, give it about five hours until it dries and then I move on to the next piece. So this is the uh, unfinished crossover at Divide. I've got it all cut to length and everything, I just haven't installed it yet. Um, some people were asking in the last video about uh, this white track here. This is, uh, that's the microengineering concrete tie track. And uh, it's actually, believe it or not, prototypical for this area. Let's see a little better maybe. Just after the set of crossovers here on the actual prototype out in uh, near the Alberta BC border, um, the concrete ties begins here after this turnout. So I'm going to be modeling it just like the prototype and there's a section of concrete track. It runs all the way from the end of this turnout all the way to a bridge right here. So this, the north track they call it, uh, will have that prototypical concrete tie track. So then from the crossover west, that's all done now, double track. It's all laid all the way into uh, staging. And I just have a couple feeders on it right now so we could run some trains, but I uh, haven't finished the permanent wiring on it yet. That's as far as we got on this side. So the only other major thing we were working on this past month was uh, mainly spent all the time I had on this reverse loop and we did get the track is all finished, laid all the way around the thing now. Um, feeders have been dropped throughout for all five tracks. I haven't uh, got to wiring it yet. Lately I've just been working on uh, getting the switch machines put in. I got all eight switch machines are installed and now I'm just kind of fine tuning them to get them to work good. There's a different angle, completed loop track. Basically the same idea as the other loop that you guys have seen lots of. It's five 25 foot long tracks and uh, should be able to use this for turning the trains around uh, off the layout as, as well as storing up to five full length trains. I'm wiring it exactly the same as the other loop as well. I used uh, two auto racks to determine uh, 
where the fouling points are. So that's this black line right here. And then just, so just up from that uh, fouling mark, I cut the uh, gaps in the rails. So that's where like a locomotive, you know, its uh, front pilot would be here. Its first wheel would be about there. So uh, I wanted the, uh, the gaps in the rail because this is uh, switched reverse loop power here. And this is actually block detected uh, into the turnout. So the idea being um, eventually when you got a bunch of different trains on here, if somebody leaves a train foul and is actually past this gap in the rails and on sitting on the turnout here or here or any of the what, any of the fouling points on the, the four turnouts that go down the uh, onto the mail line, because this is also block detected, that'll show up in the signaling and you'll get a red light uh, for this block because somebody is sitting foul here. So you'll have to be clear. You'll have to be clear of the switch and also not sitting foul for the uh, to get a green signal into staging. Feeders are uh, 18 gauge and then I just solder them directly to the rail. So the only other thing I finished the, uh, the artwork for this control panel here. So it's a little different than the, uh, than the points west panel. Just because of the way the uh, turnouts are laid out. Uh, but basically there will be a switch for turnout control on either side and then also a on off switch uh, for power for this for each loop. So if you got four trains sitting here and not being used, you can just flip the uh, the power switches off and then you won't be drawing current or have a bunch of noisy sound equipped uh, locomotives sitting there idling. Had a little bit of fun with the uh, this control panel. I actually included the uh, the prototype passing siding length there at Banff and uh, also on the name sign for it, Banff East and I put the mileage which is uh, the actual prototype mileage for the signals there at Banff East so just having some fun with it. There's just a quick view underneath with the uh, wall of tortoise motors installed. So they're pretty straightforward eventually the frogs will be uh, powered by the tortoise switch machines and uh, you can see I've got the just on the other side of the switch there's a set of feeders um, on, on the uh, block detection side of the layout power so those are all powered, uh, this section's all powered through block detection. So that'll catch us up to date with all the uh, progress on the layout guys. We haven't been getting too much done down here, it's been pretty nice the last three weeks especially. We had a little bit of a vacation there, we went to Saskatchewan for a while. So it's been nice, uh, spend out some time outside enjoying the nice weather. So on the rainy days and stuff, what we're going to try to focus on is uh, I need to get this terrain secured down here in Banff. This stuff's not uh, secured to the benchwork yet, so I need to do that, get that all done, and then we can uh, continue on with the track laying here through Banff, uh, do Banff Yard and keep pushing west. And same goes on the other side. Uh, I'm kind of burning the candle at both ends here and working on either whenever I have um, materials or you know get the back paint the backdrop painted so uh, yeah on the west side once I get some more paint uh, we'll do some more painting and we'll keep going with the track work there and that's what we'll be up to for the next month so that'll wrap up this layout update guys as always thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time